I'll be sharing, I cannot say my experience, our own experience. As you know, Nipah is a viral infection and it was a threat for us and all our India world. I am Dr. Rajagopal, head of the Department of Government Medicine, Calicut Medical College, Kerala. So first of all, I put my homage to the Department of Health. We lost uh, 17 precious lives and uh, we were able to save two of the patients. So God grace, actually the central team visited Kyolkodos telling that at least we have to expect more than 300 deaths during this period. But fortunately, with the help of God, we have attained to 17 only. So as you know, Nipah is a viral infection and the name came from Shangai Nipah, a village in Malaysian Peninsula. So actually, May 18th to June 10th, it was a scare in Kerala, India, and even worldwide. So, what is Nipah? It is a viral infection, it's a zoonotic disease. That means it's infection spreading from animal to human beings. 1998, Malaysia and Singapore was affected. 2001, Bangladesh. It's a single stranded RNA virus. And the fruit bats are the first for this uh, virus. So this was a common zine in our good old days in rural setup and even urban area all over India and worldwide you can see there are so many species of bats. So this is a scene. So I have enjoyed the nestle of the plantain. Most of you might have also enjoyed. So how virus transmission from bats to human beings is one through inhalation and it is through contact and uh, consumption of Nipah viral infected secretions. So what is the reason for this emergence of or re-emergence of this infection? Virus was there in the bats, but how it came out is we don't know much about. But as you know, we have got planned and unplanned urbanization, overgrazing, commercial and agricultural exploitation, deforestation, human migration, and the poor environmental sanitation. So deforestation may lead to loss of natural habit of the animals, especially bats, and which in turn will weak the immune system of bats, which may lead to increased viral load in the body, which may be excreted. And there are so many seasonal and stress factors, especially in summer and breeding season, these bats are having a stressful period. That may be the reason which we came across this episode during last May. So there were so many stories about the origin of this infection, from bioterrorism to so many things we have thought, but the mystery was unraveled by getting the samples from the bats. We collected, the central team has collected first batch in start of May. About 21 bats were tracked and these specimens were sent for a viral examination and these bats were free of virus. Unfortunately, these bats were insectivorous virus, bats. So this is how they collected the sample and they, towards the end of May, early part of June, they have collected another group of bats from that area that was uh, um, herbivorous bats and uh, it was the virus was found in these bats and this has uh, the mystery was underwent and uh, it was proved that bats were the carriers of this virus so may 19 may 2018 kerala reported the three deaths of Nipah virus in a small village near Perambra in Calicut and three deaths occurred in the same family and this was the first time of Nipah reported in Kerala and the third known outbreak of Nipah in India and previous ones having in 2001 which caused 45 deaths and in 2007 caused 5 deaths. So as you know Kodikot is a busy area 
and all the hospitals during this period, hospitals were empty, wards were empty, traffic were less, and almost bus trip has been cancelled. Hotel mice and theatre were almost haunted. Railway station was less crowded. Social gathering was minimal. And during that season, we had uh, uh, this uh, fasting season for Muslims, and we lost so many dinners, no more etc. In that period. So many marriages and other functions, social functions were cancelled during this period. Education institutions were cancelled. Examination was postponed. And media, visit, as you know, for every incidence, we will be having media visit. But for initial two to three days, these media people were behind us with this antenna and all. After two days, because of the natural disinfection, these people has left the place and only through phone only they have contacted us. And the tourists were afraid of coming to Kerala. You can see this the casualty in front of the uh, you can see in front of the casualty. All the trolleys are empty, and you can see few patients are or bystanders are sitting with the uh, mouth closed with the mask. So this is one of our ward. You can see usually about 96 percent of occupancy was there in our wards, but this was the status during that period. And I don't know what happened to this patient. I have asked. Usually in our hospital, we used to have uh, more than 30 patients on oxygen to and not. None of them were there. And I asked other private hospital whether these patients are there. But they also said no. So I don't know what happened to these people. So this, you can see the shop in front of the hospital being closed. So fruit sale, as you know, in front of the hospital were very much affected. Tourists were not coming because of apprehension and uh, the second you can see that uh, they have put a board, ILP is free from Nipah. Similarly, Calicut, some of the private hospitals put the notice board that our hospital is Nipah free. That was the scenario in Calicut during that period. And actually when we come to the episode, this time you can see that this is the first case you can see zero patient. For the family, it has infected a three, one, two, three cases. From the hospital, one patient as was there. From where that hospital, four patients were affected, and the other 11 cases were infected in our medical college. So, as customarily to see in our scenario, when a patient is admitted in the hospital, so many visitors may be there. Suppose one fellow is vomiting, the other bystander may be helping him like this. So, most of the affected person in the seven, that 11 group was such innocent people who were in contact with the infected person. So why this episode or event was suspected as Nipah? The second, when the second case was reported one of the private hospital in Calicut Baby Moral Hospital. When taken the history, with the history of uh, the first patient in the family and uh, the clinical presentation, respiratory symptoms, colon, meningeal and cephalitis, they thought the possibility of a viral, a typical viral infection and the sample was sent to viral institute of Manipal Hospital by Dr. Anu and uh, Dr. Uh, other team neurologist and the uh, result came as Nipah viral infection. As you know, the, our diagnosis was within one week and in other uh, Malaysia and all, it took at least two to three months to get the etiology as viral infection. Nipah viral infection. So earlier detection of the culprit was the success behind our story. So we are working in this hospital. Our department is a permanent medicine department, and we had severe cases, five severe cases of Nipah, and uh, you can see that second case only survived. She being a nursing student who was exposed in the casualty, and other five patient expired. And the other, we totally we lost about, uh, not about, 17 patients. And the all other patients were in the main medical college. And we didn't got much time to see the patient because most of the patients, when they arrived at the hospital, was terminal and they expired from the itself. So common symptom as you know for viral infection, there are fever may be there, uh, headache may be there, nausea, moving, etc. is common for other viral illness, but uh, as far as this disease is concerned, 
there was a rapid progression of the respiratory symptom and the mental meningitis etc was there treatment coming to a treatment as such there is no treatment for uh, this viral infection only we did this uh, supportive care with oxygen and other nutritional aspect and there is a uh, recovery there is a antiviral drug fortunately we got it uh, even before the government has supplied in our hospital by our own effort from private sector and we have given all this uh, antiviral to our patients and uh, in media you might have seen some drugs being imported from australia it is a, a not a vaccination it is monoclonal antibody it was uh, we got it from australia but we are not tried because it's a trial drug only but when it before it came the our uh, the event was closed coming to how it was come once the disease was confined the government missionary strong into action all suspected cases were moved to the government hospital medical college isolation protocol on the lines of who guideline was formed health personnel in all hospitals were given training and safety guards because uh, being an infection 99 percentage of our hospital staff were trained how to put the gown mask goggles etc so the central team came they arranged isolation ward we set a fever clinic for seeing separate fever patient uh, we collected the sample with all precautions and sent to viral institute and uh, as institutional level uh, we have uh, minister services in our hospital academics and elective procedures were temporarily stopped arranged personal protective equipments a contact tracing we have done contact tracing more than 2000 contacts were traced and isolated and uh, daily meetings were conducted in the hospital and in the guest house in the presence of minister so you can see the minister and the central team along with our principal and our team in the discussion we were planning we have started separately and isolation part to separate the patients uh, distance between beds we have kept to optimum restrict the number of visitors environmental cleaning and disinfection strict visit policy all these things we have done so this way this you can see almost 90 percentage of our staff were shown how to put the gown and uh, the experience of being in the gown is very tough you cannot uh, sit for more than one to two hours in this dress so that it is very tight and no air will enter nothing so this is a very bad experience to be in the so regarding hand washing was uh, the message was spread to everybody cleaning regarding even the cleaner there is a it is a cleaner or doctor everybody was uh, wearing the gown and all these dresses you can see the red alert in the area with the security staff so the pity part of all this thing is how to prevent the body as usual the body we were not sending to the home body was taken from the hospital directly to electric crematorium even there was confusion nobody was taking the body for the conventional people who are ranchers people doing this one they were not willing for and they were forcedly uh, forced to do that in the electric crematorium etc so this man you can see the uh, once the death occurred even the, the relatives are not allowed to see the patient and uh, so what happened one of the hindu boy the corporation uh, doctor was telling he has done the rituals for the dead body so this one episode one the muslim patient expired and as a customer we cannot burn the body so oh, we have very tough time and we are interrogated with the political and religious leaders ultimately it was deeply buried with all standard precautions so how to prevent uh, uh, during a outbreak is how to decrease bad to human transmission that's why washing and peeling of fruits not eating half eaten fruits boiling dead palm it's not applicable in our scenario avoid climbing trees which we have suspected the bad symptoms that's one thing which we can do how to reduce uh, animal to uh, human transmission personal protective equipments we have to wear the gown goggles then shoes gloves etc restrict movements from animal birds 
and to prevent the human to human transmission personal protective equipment and hand hygiene by health care workers and avoid the visiting of the sick people was advised you can see our chief minister uh, being and the health minister been honored in the us for uh, timely control of our nipa event this is the meeting one of the meeting which we last declared calicut as nipa free you can see the all the ministers and countries sitting you can see the minister returning back to office uh, visiting the one of the survivor being our uh, patient she is a nursing student you can see these are the various appreciation letters from various organization for our department and the ministry is sharing the joy of uh, nipa eradication so this way one of the ministers Uh, awarded us with so many laurels. So the containing the contagion was uh, our effort. So in Calicut, a chorus group has composed one song, the Bye Bye Nipa, like that. You can see that's a clipping. That's I cannot uh, do the video here. So to conclude, a team of dedicated medical staff, well oiled health machinery. Effective monitoring by the bureaucracy and political leadership helped the state to win the battle against Nipa. Unflinching grit and steely resolve, commitment towards work, and all compassion towards fellow human beings helped us to snatch many people from the jaws of death. And as you know, NIV is the where the bat is the bat where the and uh, uh, the threat is still continuing. but hopefully we are there for you thank you